Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to change the model in the um, demo game, which is uh, provided by Lumberyard. And uh, so we just go to a, a site like turbosquid.com or similar um, and look for a model that you'd like to replace the robot with. I'm going to use a turret gun. You can sort by price, and if you sort by lower prices, then you'll you'll see the, the free models first. Uh, just pick any model you choose. Um, uh, best to have a 3DS or a blend model, because the idea is we're going to um, import the model uh, into Blender and then export as an FBX file, which can then be imported into um, Lumberyard. Okay, so I, I picked this one and then you download it and select the format. I selected the 3DS format and you save it somewhere locally on your machine for importing into Blender. So that's the first step, get your model, then start Blender. Um, you can select all the objects in the, in the default Blender scene by pressing the a key twice. If you press it again, it'll deselect everything. I press it again and it will select everything. You can tell it's selected because they're all marked uh, orange here. And then I use the X key or the delete key to delete everything. Okay. Then I can uh, use file import and then 3DS to import the model which I just downloaded, which is called turret 2 separated.3ds. And there it is. And now I simply have to go to export, FBX, only select the mesh uh, and put it uh, somewhere that I can then uh, later find for importing into Lumberyard. I'll call this turret gun or something. And then um, I'll put it on the models export okay that's it with blender you can save that if you want i won't bother so now let's start lumberyard go to the dev bin 64 folder and start the editor So I'm assuming that you've already set up um, Lumberyard um, and in this case we're going to go into the get it, getting started completed level which you can find by going to open levels and here we have getting started completed level but any level will do. Press game switch to game and there we go you can move around and so on okay fine but we want to change the model now to the one that we uh, just downloaded and um, for which we created a an fbx file actually before we do this we need to import the fbx file so go down to um, import geometry from X fbx Find the file which you just um, converted to an FBX file. I have it under data models my machine and I call it turgon.fbx. Then you select the group, import checked. Um, I'm not going to scale it here, we can scale it inside after. Um, leave everything as it is and just note that it's being imported to samples, project, objects, turret gun. Okay, successfully imported. Good, so we close that. And now when we go to the prefab, let's put it in the scene again. Where did I put it? I'll put it here somewhere, look here it is. 
Okay. Um, if I click open, it allows me to um, to select the individual uh, components. So, for example, I can move the camera. Click here on the move tool. I can raise the camera up and maybe move it a bit closer, or I don't know, let's say closer to the head. And then, if I play the game, I'll notice that I'm much closer to the robot. Um, so that's useful. What I really want to do though is I want to take the robot's head and change the geometry associated with the head. So under geometry here, uh, click here on the icon to change the model. And we just need to find our model. Here we go. It's under sample, projects, objects, and it's turret gun. So let's get that in. Let's change the model. But if I play now, you probably see that the uh, the turret is too small, so let's scale it up. You can click on the scale tool here, and then down here, maybe scale it up to a factor of 55. So you can see it now at this point. And I know by uh, playing with this, I need to rotate it as well. So click on the rotate icon here, and rotate it to minus 90. This will be different for, for different models. Um, and now if we play the game, we should see the turret gun. Okay, but now I need to move my camera back again. Move the camera back so I can see the turret. Let's move it up a bit. Try that. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, of course, you could also um, you could also move it down again so we don't see so much of the robot body. You can play around with that. You can change the um, the the geometry that's used for the body as well, of course. So going back to our turret, we now need to change the material. I'm just going to take a metal uh, material which is already provided here, and then you click here to apply the material. There we go. So if we check it now, okay, we've got our uh, turret gun, um, which has replaced our robot. And now, if I press fire, wow, it fires rockets. That's pretty cool. How did that happen? Well, I'll show you that in the next tutorial. Um, to do that, uh, we, we uh, will need to change some code. So this tutorial was just about changing the the model used for the robot to whatever other model you'd like to use instead. And just to recap, you, you find the model um, you'd like to use, uh, preferably something which is easily imported into Blender. Then you export the geometry from Blender to an FBX format, and then you use the uh, the tool here, import geometry from FBX to bring it into um, Lumberyard. And then you can change the prefab. I hope you like this. Um, I'll bring you more tutorials soon. Thanks. Bye.